Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marjorie. And if you're not new here, my name is still Marjorie. <laughs> and this is Marjorie Made. Uh, I mostly talk about cross stitch, sometimes crochet and books and, you know, all the fun things that I've been up to. I have some exciting stuff to show y'all today. So stick around if you wanna, if you wanna see the stuff. <laughs> I swear filming never gets easier. It just, <laughs> um, sometimes, especially if it's been a while, you kind of get out of the hang of it. Um, it's been about a month since my last video. Uh, last month it was a January recap and today it's going to be a February recap. It's February 26th. So, you know, we're, we're approaching the end of the month, but I just wanted to Hop on here, show y'all guys what I've been up to, and kind of go over my March plans um, before March. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and go all, go over all of that today. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. Like I said, it's been a little over a month. I hope that things are going well with you and your life and your crafting and you know all the things. Um, and thank you for coming back again and again to take part of my antics, truly and honestly. <laughs> I actually have finishes to show y'all today. I know. Hold your applause. Um, I'm shocked and awed and proud of myself for finally finishing something. <laughs> um, I'm really excited for these finishes, so I'm just going to hop in and I'm going to show y'all. The first finish I have to show y'all is a little project by Tiny Modernist. This is called Strawberry Cow. Um, and this is where it was at the beginning of the month. This was my first pick a whip for February. The prompt was stitch on a project with flowers. And this one had like one flower in it, but I kind of wanted an excuse to work on it so I could get it finished. Um, luckily I did finish it and this is what we have. As you can see, I changed up the colors to make the cow pink in true Marjorie made fashion. If I can make it pink, I'm going to. And it was a strawberry cow, so you know, it had to be a pink cow in my opinion. I think it's so cute. I don't really know what I'm gonna, like how I'm gonna finish this or you know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's a finish for now. It'll go in the little finish drawer. And this is stitched on 14 count lavender Ada, which is kind of showing up just white, but it's a very, very pale purple. It's so stinking cute. I got this pattern with my sister, um, my brother's girlfriend, and then one of my bestest friends. We got this when we went to a trip. Um, we went on a trip to Denver. <laughs> there we go. And we all got this um, pattern and we were going to stitch it together and it's been over a year and I just finished it. So that's okay. Better late than never. I think it's so cute. I might try and make a little like flat finish or something and put it on my shelf. I think it'd be a cute little addition to the bookshelf. So yeah, that's my first finish um, that I'm showing y'all. It's actually my second finish of the year, but I wanted to save this finish for last. Um, I finished Strawberry Cow on February 21st. I finished this on February 20th. Um, and this is the Love Bug Sampler by Sprouting Lupine. Um, this was the first style I ever started, which is so cool and so fun to think about. Um, but yeah, last February I started a stitch along with this pattern and it, I just fell in love with it. I don't know why it took me a whole year to finish it because I love, love this. I'm stitching it on dark olive, I believe it's a 32 count, um, dark olive fabric. I'll show y'all a picture of where it was the last time you saw it, or I guess in my whip parade would be the last time you saw it, because I haven't stitched on it for a while. Are y'all ready? Okay, so this is my love bugs. It looks so beautiful on this green fabric. I can hardly believe that it's finished. I love it so much. And over here I have um, my wife's initial, 
I put J for my middle name because that's um, mostly what I go by in real life. I've kind of, I'm going by Marjorie a little bit more than I used to, but anyway, that's why the J is there. And then M is for our last name. And it does say 2023, even though I finished it in 2024. I had all of the intentions to finish this last year, but I think it's okay to leave the 2023 because that was the year that I started my first sale. I think it'll always like hold that memory for me. So I really, really love this. It's so beautiful. The back stitch and the wings are just gorgeous. And these little bugs down here were no joke. That really is what took me the longest. Um, Cause those, those little guys are about 500 stitches a piece. So. Um, and I did 2,949 stitches on this in February to pull out a finish. So, really proud of this. And I, I'm going to frame this, I think, and hang it up in my room. My haunted library needs a companion over there on the wall. She's all by her, her lonesome over there. All right. So, those are my two finishes. Probably, hopefully, maybe won't be a long time before I can say that again. But... <laughs> You never know. You never know, and that's okay. Um, I'm going to hop into whips. I have four whips to show y'all. The first whip I'm going to show you is, I think it's Two Birds, One Tree. Um, that's what I call it. It may not be the official name, but I'll put all the information up here. This project lives in this beautiful bag by Sheba Designs. This also has my modern folk embroidery piece in it, so... I put like my pink projects in here because it's just really cute. I'm stitching this project on 28 count House of Bone and Salt Even Weave. This is by Fangirl Fibers. Um, this was gifted to me by Bridgen, the museum stitcher. And then the floss for this is Color and Cotton Fiesta. Um, also a recommendation by Bridgen. She knows I love the pink and the orange. Um, this fabric I will never get over. So it's gorgeous. Um, I'll just fold this so y'all can see the beautiful floss. I love this. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I stitched 117 stitches on this in February. Um, I think I just picked it up on a whim one day and put a little bit into it. This floss is just absolutely perfect with this fabric and I love this so much. Um, this is a bestie start with me and Cameron over at Cam the Stitcher. We're both pink and orange girls. And even though, even though like I have a lot of stitchy besties, um, Cameron is just, she's my soul sister. I really think we were separated at birth. Um, and so I wanted to start a little project with her. Aw. Aw, are we cute? <laughs> um... But anyway, I think she's further along than I am, but we don't really have any goals for this. We're just kind of like working on it. Um, this is actually in my 10 to 10 by 10 slot for right now. So if you don't know what the heck I just said, um, I explained it in my last video a little bit, but it's 10 to 10 by 10. So I would like to get 10 of my projects to 10% by the 10th month, so October. Um, and for my stitching structure, I'm not really doing um, monthly goals anymore. I'm just picking projects and goals and working on them until I finish that. Um, that way it, it kind of works with my life. So um, right now, Two Birds, One Tree is in the slot for getting to 10% before I swap it out. And I don't know how many stitches away from 10% I am on that, but I think it was less than 400 um, when I picked it up. And so I'm probably like two to 300 away, depending on the math. <laughs> so maybe I'll knock that out here in the next couple of weeks. The next up I have to show y'all is the Misspelled Sampler by Hemlock and Rye. I worked on this on the 15th of February for its whip birthday. So this year I kind of want to pull out the projects on their whip birthday and um, work on them for at least a little bit that day. Um, I was able to do almost 600 stitches in this project um, in that one day. I kind of just put on an audiobook and zoned out and got a bunch of stitching done. So 
Um, I'll show y'all what it looks like before. And then here's what it's looking like now. These colors are beautiful. So I think I added in the pink of these guys. I brought this border down and then started on the words in this tree. Um, I really, really love this project. And I think this is done on 36 count Oaken by Picture This Plus. So even though I got 600 stitches, it, it doesn't translate to a lot of um, area, but I absolutely love it. My lighting is kind of intense right now. So I'm hoping it's coming across. Um, yeah, I think it's beautiful. I don't know when I'll pick it up next, but um, I maybe want to, I might work on it a little bit more. Um, after I finish some of my February stitching um, in the next couple of days. The next whip I have to show y'all is Fruits of Plenty. This is by Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, I've had a very long and tumultuous relationship with this project, but um, I think I'm finding my joy in stitching it again, uh, which is great. Um, I pulled this out for Pink February stitching, which I haven't been doing a lot of, I don't think. I mean, apart from Love Bugs and Strawberry Cow, like, those were all pink, but um, there was a couple more projects I wanted to hit in February and, you know, time didn't allow, but that's okay. I picked this up for one day and I was able to get um, a little over 300 stitches done. And this is what we're looking like. Um, I basically just put this whole thing in and worked up, I think over there. Maybe not. No, I think that was already there. <laughs> so essentially I just did this center shape um, which is gonna make moving forward a lot easier because I'll have a lot to work off of um, I can kind of go in a few different directions or just start filling this in which it's um, negative space similar to up here so it's a lot of stitching uh, in that area so this is absolutely beautiful it never really comes across on camera but there is like a slight um, glitter to this fabric. I don't, it's not opalescent at all. Um, but there's just like little flecks of silver glitter in this. I don't know how to explain it. Um, maybe you can see it, but I think it's just the perfect little touch. Um, I don't know how much it's going to show up once it's finished, but it's really pretty to look at while I'm stitching on it. So <laughs> that is my current fruits of plenty. And next up, I have my second pick a whip for February, which is the floral motif sampler. I have only stitched 160 stitches on this um, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I drew the pick a whip um, February 15th, so um, I haven't had a lot of time to work on this, but like I said, I was able to get 160 stitches in, which is just this motif right there. These colors are absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'll probably leave this out um, for this week also to maybe work on after I finish up um, some other things I wanted to get done. This project um, was for a 2022 start. I started this for my birthday in 2022. Uh, so a very special start. It was the first project I ever fully kitted up at my LNS, and so um, it's just all over special. And it's done on a 36 count ballet slipper with these beautiful colors, which are kind of a mess, but beautiful. I think what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and draw for the next pick a whip. Um, I normally draw on the first and the 15th of every month and uh, post that on Instagram in the YouTube community tab. Because uh, normally my filming schedule doesn't align very well, which, I mean, it's not really aligning perfectly right now. But I guess if you're watching this video before the first, you get a little sneak peek of what um, the March 1st through 14th pick whip's going to be. So, uh, like I said, I normally do this off camera, but we're going to do it on camera today since the filming is kind of close to the first. It'll give you a little bit of time to plan. Let's go with... 
I have two. Okay. Alrighty, so we have designed by a person of color. This was um, a viewer recommendation by Beth. Okay, so designed by a person of color. I think I have the perfect project for that. I'm not gonna get it out, um, but I think what I'm gonna work on is the Black Butterfly Sampler by Shaded Stitchery. I'll put the cover image here and then um, my progress on that for right now. Um, that actually works out perfectly because I was planning to work on that in March anyway. So, cool. Okay, so now that Pick a Whip is done, um, let's move into the March Hopes and Dreams, which is essentially just my plans, but we call it Hopes and Dreams because that's a little bit more fun and a little bit looser I guess it's um plans just seem so strict and when I plan for something I like for it to happen <laughs> so um anyway March hopes and dreams well and before we get into March let's finish out February before I get ahead of myself um I am working on a round robin project with a handful of the cross stitch girlies um I need to finish that so today until the 28th so from the 26th to the 28th, um, my main goal is going to be finish that and get that shipped off to Cameron. And then um, I actually have a new start planned. So um, if I finish up early on the round robin project, I'll probably work on misspelled sampler or the floral motif sampler just to get some more stitches in on that before March 1st. And then um, on the 29th, I wanted to do a leap day start. Um, so I have a project in mind, which fits in with February hashtag pink February stitching. And, um, I just wanted to start just something on uh leap day. So I have this beautiful Jasmine custom bags bag, um, in which I have three moth projects, moth slash butterfly projects in. So like the perfect bag to house all my moth projects. And um, the project I want to start is a study in pink. This is by the Artsy Housewife. I have a mixture of uh, classic color works and the gentle arts. Um, I think most of this is what was called for. Um, I might have subbed out a few things, but these, these are just beautiful. Um, obviously we have pinks, oranges, browns, greens, purples. It's just, it's stunning. This color palette is beautiful. And I have 18 count Bramble, I believe. Yes, 18 count Bramble by Picture This Plus, which doesn't um, come across on camera super well. Um, it has like a cool undertone to it. I'm not really sure what color this is technically, but it just is a cool undertoned neutral. And I think it's gonna look absolutely amazing with all of my floss I know you probably can't see that but anyway so this will be my leap day start um I know that there are some people who are picking like really big projects to start and um hopefully finish it by the next leap year um that's not necessarily my goal with this one even though looking it up there are a lot more stitches in it than I originally thought so um, I'm going to keep it in this cute bag. I may finish it before four years. I may not, you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? I do have a snoring dog behind me. So if you hear her, just disregard her noisy snoring. So yeah, I'll, um, plan to start that on the 29th and work on that throughout that day. And then March 1st, we'll start my March whip bracket I am so excited to do this. Um, it is an adaptation of the Steel City Stitchers um, March stitching event that they do. Uh, I'm gonna do mine a little differently, I think. Um, so I have my little like lineup, like my little matches or whatever. Um, I don't watch basketball, I don't know if you can tell. 
<laughs> I know that theirs is based off of um, the basketball situation that happens in March. And um, so anyway, I have my little lineup. I have my little pairings. And what I'm going to do is each week I'm going to stitch on um, the whips for that round the same amount of time. And I'm going to keep track of how many stitches I get done in that amount of time. And so um, at the end of the week, because I'm going to do it, each round is going to be a week, roughly. Um, the project with the most number of stitches for that round is going to be the one that wins and moves forward um, in the bracket. And um, so week after week, we're going to narrow them down to the top two. And then um, I think instead of going off of the number of stitches done in the time frame, I think I'm going to pick the project closest to a finish. And so that last week of March, I'm going to try and push for a finish. There are some projects which I don't think I'd be able to finish in March. Um, I have a study in pink in there. So if I start that in March, or if I start that at the end of February, I, I will not finish that in March, okay? Um, there's also, I think, Coffee and Eggs by the Artsy Housewife. Um, I'm not very far on. I started that back in December. So if that one gets to the finals, like, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> there's no way. So... Um, just realistically, I'm going to pick the one that's closest to a finish and then work on that for the last week and try and get at least like six hours into it and um, maybe hopefully finish it, but we'll see. But I will definitely keep y'all updated on that. I'm really, really pumped. I'm so pumped. I think it's going to be a blast. I love um, a competition. I love tracking things so i think it'll be fun to time myself working on these projects and um seeing how many stitches i get within that time frame and then it just being like a competition of my whips um if this goes well i do think that later on in the year i'm gonna host an event that's similar to this um i'm gonna come up with a name for it but I'll keep y'all posted, you know. You know, I'll keep y'all posted. I'll tell y'all everything. So next up, I'm gonna go over crochet. So if you were only here for the stitching, um, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video, whether that's in a couple of weeks or a month. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. And um, if you wanna see about my temperature blanket, um, I'll go over that now. <laughs> So at the shock of nobody, um, I'm not up to date on my temperature blanket. <laughs> um, I did, however, finish January's block and get February started. So I'm doing better than I thought I would be. Um, but anyway, here's my January block. Um, like I said, the middle is a little wonky. I forgot that you have to like turn your work every round with this. Um, which I'm not used to when I do like granny squares or, you know, you don't turn your work. But this will indeed get wonky if you don't do that. So I'm hoping that blocking will help. Uh, we got a little warmer in these last couple days. And then this purple, like white lavender, is actually my border color. So every block is going to be, I think I made it 33 rounds. So, obviously, each round is a day, and there's not 33 days in the month. So, depending on the month, I will have um, two or three rows of this purple, and then that will also be my joining color for um, all of the blocks. Obviously, February is going to have more purple than the rest, or lavender, um, because there's not as many days. But, anyway, that's January. I'm loving it. The colors are turning out like really cool um and i'm i'm kind of like nervous uh, maybe not nervous um i just like don't like not knowing what it's going to turn out to look like um but that's also the kind of fun in temperature blankets and temperature stuff is you never know you never know what combo you're going to get you're never going to know how many repeats you're going to get so um anyway here is february's we are warming up Unfortunately, like, I'm wondering why it's 70 degrees in February, but whatever. When it was literally, like, 
zero degrees last month. But now we're getting up into the 70s. Um, there was, it did dip a little bit. So um, a little later on in the month, we'll get that bright yellow again for one round. Um, and then this purple was seen a lot last month, but this um, kind of like hot, it's not hot pink. It's definitely like corally. So that coral and blue and this tan are all new colors. So I am obsessed. I really need to get caught up for February um, and weave in some tails, but if you crochet, you know, we're just gonna hide them and pretend they're not there until it's overwhelming. So <laughs> anyway, that is where I am with that. I think that'll, that'll do it for us today. Um, a little short and sweet one and uh, just a little February catch up. I'm hoping to maybe get on a better recording schedule. I know that I say that in every video, but it really is hard to keep up with floss tube and everything else. But um, I love coming on here and showing y'all what I'm working on and hearing what y'all are working on and what y'all are doing. So um, be sure to leave a comment letting me know what you're up to. I miss y'all, okay? I don't like not recording for a whole month, but you know, stuff gets in the way and that's okay. That's life. You got to take it as it comes. So, uh, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, I just really appreciate you guys and appreciate you coming back and keeping me company and just riding along with my antics. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope to see y'all next time almost said next week we know that's not true <laughs> i hope to see y'all next time um i hope y'all have a great day a great week a great month probably um but be sure to do something that fills your cup and brings you joy and makes you happy and if that's stitching great if this week it's crochet great if this week it's watching netflix do it just do it you know life's too short so enjoy yourself be happy all that jazz <laughs> and i'm gonna go get to cross stitching okay i got some things i need to do so <laughs> i gotta go bye guys i'll see y'all next time